Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I have a Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series laptop. Uh, I'm going to do a little upgrading and I'm going to clone a, a drive. The M.2 um, SSD that's in this laptop right now is only 128 gigabyte. It's an NVMe drive, but that's the drive that was in it from the factory. And the customer wants to put in a little bit larger. We're going to go with a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD, a PCI Express 3.0 SSD. Um, it is a brand new laptop. They've had it for about a week. They got a little bit of stuff on it, so I just told them I can just clone it. Um, but the drive I'm going to be putting into it is the new, um, it's from A Data. It's an XPG SX8200 Pro, 512 gigabyte. These are really good, really fast drives. Much better than the factory one they have in there as far as just performance. So it's a 15.6 inch. It is a touch screen. And it's got 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. We're also, I'm going to upgrade that, double that up to 16 gigabytes with another 8 gig stick. It's the it's a 2666 speed RAM. So, but the first thing I'm going to do before we open it up is I'm going to clone that existing 128 under this new 512 gigabyte. There's a lot of different ways to do cloning. Normally, I would just take the drive out. I have a machine over here that I do it on, but I'm going to show you how to do it with some free software. The software I'm going to use is the Macrium Reflect or Reflect 7 from Macrium. You can download it for free. It's um, I'm going to open up my web browser here and I got a little shortcut here you just go to their website Macrium software <clears throat> you just scroll down here and you can click on it right here where it says home use the free version does allow you to allow you to do cloning and I've used it a few times it does work really well it's pretty fast um, so I've already downloaded I've already installed it but I'll put a link down below where you can get to this and download it yourself so here's the shortcut for the Mac Green Reflect. I'll go ahead and open that up. So this is the drive I'm going to clone right here. This is the 128 gig SSD. These are all the partitions. We're going to clone that. Um, this is this laptop also has a one terabyte mechanical traditional hard drive in it just for storage, which is right here. We're not going to mess with that. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out for the moment. And what I'm going to use to, to clone is I'm going to use a USB M.2 to USB adapter here that you can buy online. These are about 20 bucks. This is the one with the M key for the NVMe drives. <clears throat> I'll put a link down below where you, can buy, where you can buy these adapters if you want to do this yourself. You take the drive, the new M.2 drive, into the M key here and I'll just put it in there. Just got to make sure you get the right one. Like I said, I'll put a link down below. And I'm going to mount it in there long enough to plug this into the USB port to clone the, in, the drive inside onto this. And then when I'm all done, I'm going to open up and put this new SSD in there. But to get this mounted on there, it's a little tricky, so bear with me here. You've got a little screw and a little, little stud that they have here. It's very hard to see, but it only kind of goes on one way. There's a little notch in the end of the SSD here. Well, you set that in there just like that, and then we're going to put that down. Oh, and it fell, and it's going to fall out a few times. You just got to bear with me, guys, while I get this in there for you. Like I said, I, I, I do this a quicker way, but if you're doing this at home, this, this works just fine. I'm going to get our screw started in there. We just don't want anything to happen to that drive while we're cloning it or short it out or anything like that. Doesn't have to be super tight, just to hold it in place. There, just like that. So you get it mounted in there, it'll look just like that. The screw on the back side. So I'm going to plug this into my USB port on the side of the laptop. And that's a brand new, brand new drive, so there's nothing on it. I'm going to open up my Macrium software here, double click. Yes. All right. Now you can see here that again, this is the drive, not this drive, but we're going to select, we're going to just click here and then we're going to click on this link that says clone this disc right down here on the bottom. 
is the new drive. You can see it's all unallocated. It's not initialized or anything, but this is our 512 gig drive. Now I'm going to click right here where it says clone this disk. And you see all the partitions that were selected right here. And once you click on that, it opens up the, the, the dialog box for the actual cloning. So the source is the 128 on the top here and the destination, we're going to select a disk to clone. I'm going to click this link right here. Oop, did that wrong, my bad. Let's see. Gonna clone this disk. Right here, the, I'm sorry, this is our drive that we're gonna go to. You can see it's 476 port, 94 gigabytes. Sorry, I did that right the first time. I don't use this software a lot, but when I do use it, it does work good. So I'm going to choose this drive, but now what you have to do is if I just start cloning, it's going to end up, it's going to make a mere copy of all these partitions on this 512 gig SSD and leave a whole bunch of unallocated empty space at the end. So I'm going to drag these partitions down, click on it, and you can drag it down just like this. Click on this one, drag it down. See the OS, the C drive is right here. Here, I'll show you. I'm going to put this down. Now I'm going to resize this partition right here before I put the WinRE tools down there for backup and restore. We, we want to save that. We want to clone that. But I have to reallocate this space. This doesn't require much space. So I'm going to click here where it says cloned partition properties. I'm going to click on that. And here they have a slider bar. This is our OS. I'm going to drag this over. This is one way to do it. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space and up there, free space. I don't need much. I'm gonna go with like, uh, I'm gonna to go to megabytes. I'm gonna leave about 20 megabytes of free space. And I'm gonna hit okay. Now we can, now we're gonna utilize all that empty space we had before and I'm gonna drag this last partition down here if it'll let me. Oh, actually I need more space than that. My bad. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go... How big was that? It's 1.21 gigabytes. So I'm gonna change this to gigabytes. I'll go with 1.3 gigabytes. So now I should be able to drag this down there. <coughs> We got about 87 megabytes left over. That's Let's see if I can drag this out just a little bit bigger. Let me try that again. Software is a little tricky. So there. Now we're going to utilize all the space on the 512 and end up with 300 and some gigabytes of unallocated space. So we got our source, the 128, we got our des destination. Now I'm gonna click on next, right here, just click on next. And I'm gonna hit next again. We don't need a schedule. And then I'm gonna hit finish. And here it's just showing you how it's, everything's gonna be laid out. I'll just click on finish. And hit okay here for your backups and stuff. Just hit okay, accept the default. Alright guys, well the cloning process is starting. It doesn't take too long, so I'm going to let this go. When it's all done cloning, I'm going to come back. I'll remove the drive. We're going to go ahead and open up and install our new 512 gig. I just wanted you to see me get this process started here. And I'll be back in just a few minutes once this is done. I don't want to bore you with sitting watching the progress bar, but you can see it's going pretty fast. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, you can see that it finished. It went really quick. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to close this out. I'm going to close out the program. And there's a folder that opened up showing me that it's done. I'm going to go over here. I'll just go to the File Explorer here. You can see here's our 
current drive and here's the new clone drive over here plenty of free space on it so I just wanted to show you that program does work very well um, there's not a lot of data on this computer but like I said the customer had a little bit of stuff on it they didn't want to have to redo so I figured I'd just clone it for them so now I'm going to open it up show you how to install the new memory how to open it up and put in the new SSD alright guys we finished the cloning under our new 512 here I'm going to go ahead and open it up let me get this screw out of here get our drive out of the little adapter Alright, so it's all cloned. We're done with that. <clears throat> so now I'm going to open it up. I've already, I've already taken out all the screws. Now I've been noticing in all these last 20 or 30 new Dell models I've done, in the, the, the screws are in the back by the hinges and along the back. They got a long, like, um, like a shoulder on them where they don't actually pull out. You can get them out, but you don't need to. Just get them all the way unthreaded. But you can leave them, leave them in there like that. And it'll still open up, but I've already taken out all the screws. I want to bore you with all that. And they are all the same length. You don't have to worry about which one goes in which holes. So I'm going to use my little plastic spudger tool here, and I'm going to start right in the seam along the edge here where the palm rest meets the bottom pan or the bottom panel. So I'm just going to slide it in there. Just carefully work it along the edge. And of course, I got the laptop turned off. Make sure you remember to power it off. These 3000 series aren't too difficult to open up. Go back here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. I'd really appreciate it. And check out some of my other videos. So well, now that we got it kind of started, I'm going to carefully close the lid, flip it over. And by the way, my bench tops are all cushioned with anti static carpet. In case you're wondering, me you sliding it around, and it should just, oh, that was easy. It just comes right off, and those screws will stay right in, in the back there. But keep an eye on them just to make sure. Um, so here we go. Here's our battery. Here's our one terabyte mechanical hard drive right over here. Now, this can be replaced with any, even a two and a half inch solid state drive or a larger mechanical drive, traditional hard drive if you want, but one terabyte is plenty for this customer. Here's our 8 gigs of RAM, and here's our empty RAM slot. But before I do anything else, I am going to go ahead and disconnect this battery real quick. If you get down in here, you can see right here is the battery connector on the motherboard. You carefully take your little tool here. You might not even need that. It's going to pull back out of the connector here. Just pull it carefully, pull it back. Just, just like that. Now we got it disconnected. But before, this is added safety measure here. I'm going to hit the power button a couple times to make sure everything's discharged. There. Now we got the battery disconnected. I'm going to go ahead and put my new stick of RAM in here, 2666. I believe. Let me check this one here real quick. Yep, 20, 2666. And another 2666. There, we got the new RAM installed. And over here is our M2 slot, our PCI Express slot. It's a, it's a 2242 drive, I see, so it's a real short one. And it's got two screws, one here and one here, that we have to take out, because it's in this bracket here. So let me loosen these. Now this screw here we want to save, because we're going to use that for our new drive, our new M.2 drive. Oops, came right out. Just gonna slide it out, and there's the 22, 42, 22 centimeters this way, 42 centimeters that way. But we're just gonna put that off to the side. And I'm gonna take my new high performance drive here, put it in the slot, just like that, plugs in, put the mounting screw back in. Hopefully our clone went good and it'll boot right up with a lot more extra space. Don't go too tight on that, just nice and snug. Alright, so we got our RAM, we got our new M.2 drive. Gonna leave the 
one terabyte drive here. I'm gonna reconnect the battery. Pretty straightforward, just take your time. It goes in even, which they never do. There, just make sure it's in all the way. There, it snapped in good. Okay. <clears throat> so everything looks good. Let's put the bottom cover back over it. Gently put it back in place. So I'm gonna put the screws all back in. Once I'm all done, I know I got a good clone and everything works right where I snug it up just in case. Just be careful with these three screws you still got sticking out here. So I'm going to go ahead and power it on. Sometimes when you put on the new RAM, the Dells are going to come up and tell you that there's been a memory change, which is okay. <clears throat> Here it comes. The amount of memory has changed. Just go ahead and click on continue down here. No problem. It's just the BIOS telling me that. Just during the pre-boot check. It used to have 8, now it should have 16. That clone I took that clone actually took about three minutes. Very, very, very good free software, completely free. So there it boots up. There's our stuff. Let me go over to File Explorer here just to make sure. Here's our C drive, our 512. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to properties, go to hardware. There's our A-Data SX8200 Pro. And of course, here's our one terabyte drive. I'm going to go over here and go to system real quick. Just make sure it's reading all that RAM. Here's our 16 gigabytes of memory. So it was a quick, pretty easy little upgrade. Good, simple clone. We're good to go. So again, uh, check out some more of my videos. Please subscribe and give me a like. And I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a great day.